Well, he's just a little guy with a big head. I'm not comfortable with this. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Perfect Effect Perfect Combiner Upgrade Kits for LG Jinrai. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Super Jinrai. He's all like, this is on me! On the top here, Upgrade Kits for LG Jinrai. Blah, 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 blah. On the bottom probably says, warning, please don't eat anything in that box that could be very bad for you on the back of the box we have your obligatory product shots led add-on plans of armor on, on, and your table of contents ages 16 plus i'm not old enough to play with this that's something i haven't been able to say for a very 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 long time i'm an old man and that's basically it for the packaging <laughs> So, moving right along, here we have the upgrade kits for Super Jinrai, and yes, this is meant for the Takara version of Power Master Optimus Prime. You could still technically use it with the American version of the mold, but it is meant for the Takara version of the mold. So, what is included in this kit are the two thigh filler pieces, you get a new head, and you get the Power Master. So we will take a look at the Power Master first, and it's very nicely done. I do like it. It just has a nice uh, kind of dynamic super robot look to it, and I do quite dig it. See if we can get it close here on the head sculpt. Got some blue paint there for the visor. The blue paint doesn't actually seem like it goes all the way to the edges there like it's supposed to, but uh, they tried. It's a small piece. You can see the yellow there for the mouth. There's nice detail there in the chest. Very nicely done. Like I said, I like the, you know, he just has kind of a, a dynamic stance to him, and I do quite like that. Um, Articulation-wise, the shoulders are on a ball joint, so you can get some good outward movement. Arms can do a full 360. Uh, the head doesn't move at all. Uh, the legs can move forward that far. They don't really move back due to the backpack. Outward movement. You have that hinge right there, so you can't do the full splits, and the knee is on a ball joint. You can get good 90 degrees of bend there. And on the back here, you can see a little engine block done in silver. And yeah, he's pretty cool. And for comparison, here he is with the Takara version, the Takara Titan Master. So you can see pretty much the same heights. And here he is with the G1 version. Oh, pressure. Power mastering pressure. So, there you go. Now, you can incorporate him into Super Jin Ryan by incorporate him. I mean, basically hide him inside Super Jin Ryan. <laughs> but, uh, if we bring him in here to transform him, all you gotta do is just bring his legs up, just bring them out to the side like that, rotate his leg at the knee, and most of the time his knee likes to pop off, which kind of sucks. Get that pop back on, pop back on, and you can see here there's a little tab right there on his shoulder, it's going to go into that little notch right there. So you just leg that on, like that, and you just do the same thing on your side, just bring that up, bring that out, Rotate the knee. That one actually likes to stay on. And then just bring his legs up. And now he's in his yoga pose. And there he goes. And you can just open up Super Jinrai's chest here. And you see in here, in this section, there are these little grooves in here. And you just take the Power Master and you just slot him down. There's not a whole lot of room to work here. I wish this opened up a bit more, but... <laughs> And you just kind of slot him down in there, like that. Oops, oops, come on. Actually, we'll go in there securely. You just have to find a, you have to find the right grooves there. And there you go. That's how you incorporate him into Super Jinrai. You just close it up, and voila! You'll never see him again. But hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do. The next part is the new head which totally replaces the Headmaster gimmick. If you hated that he was a Headmaster, well, this makes it so he's no longer a Headmaster. So here's the new head, which, as you can see, is pretty much identical 
to the original head. Uh, the only difference is this one, again, doesn't have the Headmaster gimmick, and there's a little button on the back here, and you push it, whoop, and his eyes glow. A nice, bright blue. So that's pretty cool. And to swap out the heads is very, very easy. We need to open this all back up again here. And you just want to bring the head down. And you can see here that the head is just on a mushroom peg right there. You just wiggle that out. That pops right out. The new head just slides right in in its place. And voila, he has a new head. And Power Master fell out again. He usually holds on a lot better than this. You know why? You know why he doesn't want to hold on now? Because the camera's on. That's why. Because the camera's on. Any other time, he's been just fine. But now the camera's on, and he's like, Nope, I don't want to work with you. There you go. There it is. <laughs> but, there you have him now. With the new head. And now his eyes can glow. Yay. <laughs> And everything still transforms normally with the new head. Um, if we take the, uh, the Power Master out here oh, and drop him on the floor, come back here. Again. You can't just take the head, just tuck that in. You can get the Power Master in there as well if you just put it in that very first groove right there. You can still close everything up like that and. You can still transform him into his truck mode with the Power Master in there with the new head. Doesn't affect anything. So. There you go. Let's get this out. Get out your head. Get your head up, Prime. You got to keep your head up. Anyway. Oh, yes. Put him back in here. Let's put him back in here. Serve your purpose, Power Master. Just hide. Hide in, hide in Prime's chest. Hide in Prime's chest. There you go. That's your, that's your purpose in life. To hide in someone's chest. There you go. So, there you have that right there. And the last bit are the uh, the thigh filler pieces. So if you hated the gaps on the inside of his legs, well, this gets rid of the gaps on the inside of his legs. Now, you can use the head and the Power Master with the American version of the mold if you want to. Uh, this is the only part that you may have some issue with um, because this is color matched to match the Takara version. It is matched to, it, to it's, it is matched to this color plastic, whereas on the American version, you can see it's done in this more kind of kind of tannish color, and you can say it doesn't perfectly match up. I mean, you can use them. You can use them. I mean, I'll, I'll show off how it looks. If you plug them in here, you can see, I mean, you can use them. It's not, it, it, it's not that noticeable, but it's noticeable that, you know, he has two different colors going on there, but that's the only thing that doesn't totally match up with the American version, but the head and the Power Master you can use on the American version of the mold if you want to, but we'll plug it here on Super Generai. And they just slot right in like that. Just give it a push. And there you go. Thigh gaps are now gone. They've disappeared. They have vanished. It's like magic. It's like a magical thing that does magic. Let's push that on. There you go. No more gappy thighs. Yay! <laughs> and yeah, that is pretty much it for this little upgrade kit for Super Generai. And one more thing about the new head. You do get a little extra articulation. Of course, you still have full 360 degree rotation there, but you also get a hinge that allows him to... Uh, to look up a little bit so yay hey it's a thing it's a thing it can do it doesn't do anything amazing i mean it just gives him a new head with the leds which is nice uh you know the the gap fillers for the thighs are nice as well um the, the power master is cool it does kind of suck that the only way to incorporate him is just to hide him in prime's chest now granted perfect effect is going to be releasing a fully transformable cab section to replace this cab so you will be able to take that power master and actually plug it into the grill as is intended so with that um, you will be able to make, you know, more proper use of the Power Master. But until then, that's pretty much all you can do with it.
And I do have that transformable cab they're putting out on pre-order, so I will be taking a look at that when it is released. And uh, yeah, just, you know, as far as this kit alone goes, just, you know, minor little improvements here and there, literally here and there. <laughs> but once that transformable cab gets put out, that will be like a major, um, a major add-on for this figure. And uh, I, I really can't wait to see how that turns out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this little add-on kit. So if you would like this or any of Perfect Effects other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToysStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below. So check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Make your eyes glow. All that good stuff down in the description below. I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the perfect effect, perfect combiner upgrade kits for LG Jinrai. And this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. I don't know, Prime. Sometimes I just feel lost, you know? I just, I just don't know what to do. Well, Hot Rod, in times like that, I look to that special thing inside me. It guides me. It tells me right from wrong. And it always leads me down the right path. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should look into my soul. No, I wasn't talking about my soul. I was talking about this guy. Look. Huh? Um, excuse me. A little privacy, please? You can be a little moody sometimes, though.